70 years after graduating, the Jacksonville High School class of 1944 is still at it. It's been a while, oh, and it's wow. really exciting. <laughs> it's easy to see that Betty Fisher and her classmates are living life to the fullest, and this group isn't alone. Thanks to medical advances, Dr. Ash Aldada, cardiologist for the Prairie Heart Institute, says the population of seniors ages 65 and older is at an all-time high. Life expectancy in the United States has increased dramatically over the past 100 years, and we almost double in life expectancy. We went from 50 to 78. Fisher says at 89 years old, a happy long life means making health a top priority. She has osteoporosis, an illness that leaves her vulnerable to fractures two of which she's experienced in the last year. She says Medicare has been significant. Been very helpful for me, and I know a lot of people don't have it. But anyway, it pays for my meds also. Fisher says she's fortunate to have such great coverage, and Aldada agrees. But he also says this. More people are getting older, requiring more routine checkups and more routine physicals, and therefore require more attention from the medical community. He adds primary care providers like physicians and nurse practitioners are most needed. Aldada says while the shortage will be a major issue in the future, for now. More. We're seeing a lot more nanogenarians, octogenarians all across the spectrum living healthy and living long and prospering at the same time. And as for Fisher? Just have to <laughs> keep going <laughs> best I can.